matchup should be interesting. The Rams are top 10 in converting third down opportunities, and they'll be up against the 49ers defense looking to knock that conversion rate down. With that, we'll send you out west to the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California, where we'll hand it over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Larry, there's a new stadium set to open in Inglewood in 2019, but for now, we're in the heart of the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The offense on your screen now, and Todd Gurley on your screen. That is the back of the present and the future. And what an amazing return for him from a knee injury his last year in college at the University of Georgia. Now it's like it never happened. There's nothing he can't do on the football field. And if you're a defense, that's a long day trying to prepare for Todd Gurley. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Trying to get it to Hartman, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Now they'll run it on the toss. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop them at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. And if this offense is gonna flow today, certainly the running back will be a key piece. Without a doubt, because they asked their runner to not just do that, but to block, to catch, to help set a tone for their offense. 10 yards still left on second down. On second down, here's McCarron. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. And the defense will try and pin their ears back and get pressure again here after the sack. It's third down. Hurry up, here we go. Three, 39. Ah! On third and long, it's McCarron. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Needed 16, they got 17 on third down. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. So they're operating in the red zone. They run the counter now on first down. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. And he'll bang that one through. The 49ers ready to kick it away. And here we go. Here's Percy Harvin now on the return. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. Burgess tells tells before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. <laughs> Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. To throw is Bortles. 
And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And now for the first time, we get a look at this defense that was very stout last week. And all they expect to do is continue what they did a week ago. Play terrific defense and not permit that offense to get started. On third and long, it's Bortles. He's going to air this out deep for Harvin. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I love we'll it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Detroit! Detroit! And they'll run it here. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Michael Brockers in on the stop. The defense here for the Rams. Mark Barron entered the league as a safety, but really plays much more like a linebacker. One thing we always notice at the end of every game, his stat sheet is full. Now McCarron throwing on second. His throw caught at about the five. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Their big-bodied receiver. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. Turn here, he gets it out to the 25 yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look for the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Here we go, huh? On second down, here's Bortles. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Sammy Coates, the intended target there. And now it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Throwing his Bortles on third down. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Percy Harvin, the intended receiver there, and it's fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded at the 20. Giovanni Bernard, nothing but green grass. Touchdown, 49ers. Giovanni Bernard, an 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers had six to their lead. And you've got a guy that fast back there to receive punts. 
That's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach. But it's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 nothing. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. From the gun on third down, Bortles. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now they'll run it on the toss. Cuts it out to the sideline. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. So let me make sure I have this right. He's already found the end zone once, and now he's ripped off a big chunk of yardage here on this one. His confidence is awfully high. So now I've got to put myself in the shoes of the defensive coordinator. Do I go ahead and sell out to try and stop him and force him to do something different? Or do I risk him having a big monster day against my defense? And his throw is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. 